Hi, this is Sean Chua. Welcome back to SimpleCampConcepts.com. Now, I'm in my training room in Waterloo Centre and today I'm going to discuss with you on how to write an Arnie equation 100% of the time. Uh, making sure that every time you do it, you'll get it correct. Now, there's basically a series of steps you need to go through when writing an Arnie equation. And after knowing that, it becomes very, very simple for you. Let's take a look at what other steps you need to follow. Alright, it's all shown on the board over here. Uh, step 1, you need to have a balanced chemical equation. Make sure your chemical species, whether reactants or products, the chemical formulas are correct. And after which, of course, you must be able to balance the chemical equation. Once you make sure that the balance, uh, the chemical equations are balanced, then you need to insert in the correct state symbols. How many types of state symbols are there? In chemistry, there are four. Solid, liquid, gas and aqueous. All right? These are the four state symbols and you must be able to insert it correctly into the equation. Now, in step three, you then choose the aqueous species, as you can see in red here. Those whether reactants or product that are in aqueous states. Uh, what you do is you split them into its ions. All right? You split them back into its ions. And in step four, you just cancel the ion or the ions. Uh, that appears on both sides of the equation. And ta -da! last step, you will find your uh, the equation uh, and it must be correct. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the example over here on the other side of the board. Now, uh, acid alkaline neutralization reaction, I think uh, we'll take this as an example since it's so common that all chemistry students must know. Uh, so we have hydrochloric acid react with sodium hydroxide and as you all know, uh, they form a salt known as sodium chloride and water as the other product. So what happened as we said before, we make sure that the chemical uh, formula of each of them is correct, in this case they are, and then we check whether the equation is balanced. Alright, the equation is balanced over here, you can verify again. And next, we put in the state symbols, in this case it's given. Uh, acid and alkali, they're all aqueous. The salt that is made, this salt sodium chloride is soluble in water, so it's aqueous. And the other product is water. Water is liquid. So what you do in the next step, which is step three, is to split the aqueous species, all right? Split the aqueous species that you have into its ions. Let's take a look at how we split them. So for hydrochloric acid, you then form this, okay? And sodium hydroxide, you split to give you Na plus ions and your OH minus hydroxide ions. Alright, let's go to the product side. Sodium chloride will then split to give you Na plus chloride minus and water you can't split it because it's not aqueous. Alright, it's a liquid. Now, from there onwards, then we go to step 4 which is to cancel the ions or the ion that appear on both sides of the equation. Let's say we split this into two halves, left hand side, right hand side. You realize over here, sodium appears on both sides as well as your chloride ions. So you cancel them out. And after you cancel them out, then you will get your ionic equation. Okay, so in this case, the ionic equation will become H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous, and it gives you water as the product. Okay, so this is how we get our equation. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, but before we end, I just want to share with you something else. Now, uh, sometimes in a certain syllabus, chemistry syllabus, they will ask you your, uh, what are the spectator ion right, in that equation or in that reaction. So what is spectator ion? Spectator ion is formally defined as ions that is not taking place in that reaction. And uh, in terms of our strategies here, it basically means those ions that appear on both sides and are the ions that you cancel off uh, in step 2 over here, alright? So your spectator ion in this case will then be your Na+, plus your sodium ion, and your chloride ions, alright? Uh, hope this is useful to you uh, and you learned something important for ion equation and spectator ions. Again, it's very important because it's linked to all other topics uh, whenever they ask you to write an equation. Okay, uh, welcome uh, back to simplechemconcepts.com to learn more on chemistry tips and exam-based discussions. Take care and good day.